In the high-stakes world of military aviation, few competitions have drawn as much attention as the Joint Strike Fighter JSF program, which aimed to develop a next-generation multi-role fighter for the U.S., armed forces, and allied nations. Among the contenders were Boeing's X-32 and Lockheed Martin's X-35. Ultimately, the X-35 emerged victorious, leading to the F-35 Lightning II we know today. But why did Boeing's X-32 lose? Let's dive into the factors that contributed to this outcome. The X-32 featured a more conventional design, which included a larger fuselage and a unique canted vertical tail. While this design had its merits, it lacked the sleek lines and advanced aerodynamics of the X-35. The X-35, with its blended wing body design, showcased superior aerodynamic efficiency, enhancing its performance in both speed and agility. A critical aspect of the JSF competition was the ability to perform vertical takeoff and landing VTOL. Lockheed Martin's X-35 utilized a revolutionary thrust vectoring system that allowed for exceptional maneuverability. In contrast, the X-32's approach relied on a less effective lift fan system. The X-35's innovative design proved more advantageous, particularly for naval operations on aircraft carriers. Stealth technology was a significant factor for the JSF program. The X-35 incorporated advanced stealth features, including radar-absorbing materials and an internal weapons bay, making it less detectable to enemy radar. Although the X-32 did feature some stealth capabilities, it fell short in comparison, limiting its operational effectiveness in contested environments. Boeing's X-32 was initially positioned as a cost-effective solution, However, as the competition progressed, the X-35 demonstrated a more robust approach to cost management. Lockheed Martin's investment in advanced manufacturing techniques and efficient supply chain management resulted in lower projected life cycle costs, an essential factor for military procurement. The X-35 underwent rigorous testing, showcasing its capabilities in various configurations including conventional takeoff and landing CTOL and short takeoff and vertical landing Stavel. The extensive testing validated its performance and reliability. In contrast, the X-32 encountered several challenges which raised concerns about its readiness and viability. Lockheed Martin had a strong track record in developing advanced fighter aircraft, including the F-22 Raptor. This experience gave them a credibility advantage instilling confidence in military decision-makers. Boeing, while a major player in aviation, faced skepticism regarding its ability to deliver an innovative fighter that met the demanding requirements of the JSF. The selection process for the JSF was not purely technical. It involved significant lobbying and relationships within the military and government. Lockheed Martin's established connections and previous successes helped them secure crucial endorsements that swayed opinion in their favor. In the end, the competition between Boeing's X-32 and Lockheed Martin's X-35 highlighted the importance of innovation, performance, and strategic planning in military aviation. The X-35's advanced design, superior stealth capabilities, and efficient cost structure ultimately led to its selection as the foundation for the F-35 program. The lessons learned from this competition continue to influence aircraft design and procurement strategies today reminding us that in the race for military supremacy, innovation and adaptability are key to success. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this analysis of the Boeing X-32 and Lockheed Martin X-35 interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the world of aviation and military technology. What do you think? Could the X-32 have won under different circumstances? Let us know in the comments below.